Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT. In this video, we will show you 8 iPhone settings that you should turn off in 2021. Guys, I am going to show you some iPhone settings that you should turn off straight away. These settings are designed to take the load off your phone's CPU, which will speed up your phone and save battery life. Along with that, it will increase the privacy on your iPhone, which you should consider doing if you are not doing this already. I am using an iPhone 12 Pro, but depending on the iOS version, it might look a little bit different, but the settings will be the same. Let's go into the settings on your iPhone, and then scroll down to Privacy, and then Location Services. If you have a purple arrow, this might be a bad sign. It means that an Apple service has been using your location. You can read more about it on the purple arrow here. Let's go into System Services. Okay. So you want to turn most of these off. So all of these services adjust your iPhone's antenna settings when you go to another country. So if you have no plans to go to other countries, just turn these off. I will show you exactly which ones to turn off and which ones to leave on. Okay, so leave on emergency calls and find my iPhone. The networking and wireless works with iPhone 11 and 12. If you are using AirDrop, it allows you to point your iPhone in the direction of another iPhone, and then that iPhone will be the first to appear in the AirDrop list. This might be handy if you're in a crowded situation like an office, but if you're a regular home user, just turn it off. Next, let's talk about significant locations. These are places that you have visited and Apple saves those locations. It's pretty weird. I don't have any locations because I don't take this iPhone anywhere, but if you toggle this off and clear your history, you will save data and battery life. Next, tap back and scroll down to product improvement and just turn all of these off. Unless Apple is paying you to help them improve their products, just turn these off. If you tap back onto the main page of location services, just look for any apps that are always using your location and turn them off. So for example, if I go into Apple Maps, you can see that I have three options. Never, ask next time, and while using the app. If you have an app that says always, turn it off straight away. For me, I will set it to Ask Next Time, and when I use the app and I open it, it will prompt me to use my location. So go through all your apps, and if you see anything set to Always, just make sure you change it. Alright, so if we go back out of Location Services, and scroll down to Apple Advertising. If you tap on View Ad Targeting Information, this will give you some info about yourself. But I actually don't find it that useful. So just go ahead and turn off the Personalize Ads button. You will still get ads that meet your criteria. It just means your iPhone will be less snoopy to try and get these targeted ads. If we tap back on Privacy and go into Analytics and Improvements. So if you have all these turned on, data is constantly being sent from your phone to Apple and other app developers. So again, turn these off to save battery life and data. The next one to turn off is allow apps to track, and you can find this by going back to privacy, scrolling up to tracking. What this does is it allows apps like Facebook to track you everywhere you go on the internet, and then use this information to sell ads about you to advertisers. It's a creepy way for advertisers to make money off you, and if you're not getting a cut of that money, just turn it off. The next setting we are going to turn off is in-app ratings and reviews. To find it, go back out of Privacy and Settings, and then scroll down to App Store. When you download an app for the first time, it will ask you if you want to write a review and how many stars you want to give that app. So just go ahead and turn this off as it's not needed. The next setting we should talk about is Push Mail. This is handy if you use your phone to get email. To find it, tap back to Settings and scroll down to Mail. Once you're in Mail, tap on Accounts and then Fetch New Data. 
If you have push turned on, this uses up heaps of battery life on your iPhone. When you have push turned on, your iPhone is constantly looking for new email. When you turn push mail off, your iPhone can choose how often it will check for new email. So what you want to do is toggle off the push mail button and then you can go into each account and set it to manual or fetch. Manual just means when you open the mail account, you will have to refresh it to get the email. Otherwise, go back to fetch new data and put a tick beside every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes. This means it will check for email automatically every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes, whichever you prefer. Obviously, if you set it to every 30 minutes, you will save more battery life and data. So the last setting to turn off is background app refresh, and you can find it by tapping accounts, mail, and settings. Scroll up to general and tap background app refresh. And at the top, tap background app refresh. This setting allows apps to download content and data when running in the background on your iPhone. I would turn this off for cellular data and set it to Wi-Fi only. And then if you tap back at the top, you can go through and choose which apps you want to be able to download data in the background. And again, this will save you battery life and data. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as 8 Android settings you need to turn off in 2021. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.